Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerintrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will re review elementary matrix operations. Elementary matrix operations play an important role in many matrix algebra applications, but most importantly, in finding the inverse of a matrix and solving simultaneous linear equations discussed in this video. The first one is interchanging of two rows or columns. The second, multiplication of each element in a row or column by a non-zero number. And last, multiplication of a row or column by a non-zero number and add the result to another row or column. Now when these operations are performed on a row, they are called elementary row operations. And when they are performed on columns, they are called elementary column operations. Now before we start, it's important to define what an identity matrix is. An identity matrix is simply a, an n by n matrix, so a square matrix, with one in the diagonals and zero elsewhere. So an identity matrix would look something like this, say a two by two matrix. This is an identity matrix where we have one in the diagonal and zero elsewhere. Now if we're looking at a three by three, it would look something like this, one in the diagonals and zero elsewhere. So those are identity matrices. Now each type of elementary operation may be, may be performed using matrix multiplication, using square matrices called elementary operators. Now if you guys need a refresher on matrix multiplication, don't hesitate to jump on over to that video review. Uh, it should be on the main page of the video page. Now to explain how these operations are done, it is best to run through a few examples. So let's start out with elementary row operations. So elementary row operations will be our first focus of this video review. Now to perform an elementary row operation on a certain matrix A, say we have a matrix A, and matrix A is a R by C matrix, the following steps are completed. Number one, we need to find E. We need to find E. E is, an, is known as the elementary row operator. And uh, we find E by applying the desired operation to an R by R identity matrix. So whatever, uh, the, however many rows are in the matrix A, then we want to apply the desired operation to a R by R identity matrix. So number two, once we define E, we need to carry out the operation by pre-multiplying A by E. So once we find A, we need to carry out, carry out operation by pre-multiplying A by E. So now that we've defined it, let's look at an example. This would probably help you guys uh, better understand it. Let's say that we have a 3 by 2 matrix and the matrix has elements 0, 1, 2, 3, four, five. Now we are asked to interchange the second and third rows. So the operation that we're asked to do is to interchange interchange second and third rows. So using elementary matrix operations, let's do this operation. The first thing we must do is to create the elementary operator E. Remember, we need to find E. 
This is done by first creating an R by R matrix. So in this case, we have three rows. So our identity matrix is going to be a three by three identity matrix. That's simply illustrated like this. So we have to first create this R by R identity matrix and complete the operation on it. So our operation is interchange the second and third rows. So this is our identity matrix. Let's go ahead and interchange the second and third rows. So one, zero, zero, the first row remains the same. Now we need to just flip these two rows. So our second row will now be zero, zero, one, and our last row will be one, zero, one, zero. So this is E, we just found E. So once we define E, we need to pre-multiply the matrix A, or the matrix we're given, by E. So this is how that would look. If we pre-multiply, that means that E will be in front of A, and that matrix is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And matrix A is 0, 1, 2, 3, four, five. Now all we need to do is, uh, is uh, carry out the matrix multiplication here. So we got, let's do this first element here. One times zero, one times zero, plus zero times two, plus zero times four. Now our second element here will be 1 times 1 plus 0 times 3 plus 0 times 5. So you guys know how to do matrix multiplication. You just carry that out and we'll end up having the, the new matrix 0, 1, 4, 5, 2, 3. So visually you can confirm that indeed we switched out interchange second, the second and third rows by using elementary row operation. So let's look at another example here. Suppose we are asked to multiply each element of a 2 by 3 matrix A by 7. So our operation our operation we want to carry out is to multiply each element in the second row by 7. So that's our operation. Now we also need to define our matrix. Say we're given the matrix 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So once again, we want to first find E. So to find E, we need to, we need to uh, do the operation to a R by R identity matrix. So our identity matrix, there's two rows, is going to be a 2 by 2 identity matrix, which is 1, 1, 0, 0, simply that. So this is our identity matrix. Now we need to uh, carry out the operation on this identity matrix. So we need to multiply each element in the second row by 7. So our new matrix will be 1, 0, 0, 7. And that is our elementary row operator E. Now our second step is to pre-multiply A by E. So E once again is 1, 0, 0, 7, and A is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So once again we just need to complete uh, our matrix multiplication which is Routine for us now, we got 1 times 0 
plus 0 times 3 for our first element. Our second element in the top row is 1 times 1 plus 0 times 4. And our third element in the top row is 1 times 2 plus 0 times 5. And once again, you guys can carry out the remainder elements to determine that we get a matrix of 0, 1, 2, 21, 28, 35. So once again, you can just quickly confirm that our operation of multiplying each element in the second row by 7 has been completed by looking at our original matrix and our new matrix. Now let's look at one more example. Let's look at what happens when we're asked to do a elementary row operation uh, multiplying one row and adding the result of that uh, row to uh, another row.